Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Rock Collectors and today we're doing a pickup video. Some new game stuff that I actually grabbed as of late and a lot of it is Dreamcast related stuff. So if you guys are not familiar with me going after the complete set of North American Dreamcast, I'm going after the complete Dreamcast collection. So there you have it. So this is another at least 11 games, I believe it is total to add to the shelf and some games i'm actually really excited for some games i've never played them so i know nothing really about them so we're going to start off with some modern stuff some stuff that i got on the super cheap and i was so excited to actually get it because this was a game that i was on my radar for the longest time i'm no fanboy of either system i'm really happy to have this it was an exclusive to the playstation and that's spider-man i played through it i'm, I'm 99 percented it i just have to do some of those challenges to get the complete 100 percent i haven't played any of the dlc thinking about trading this one in when i get some good trade value and plan on getting the game of the year edition because it, can, it includes all of the dlc for free otherwise i have to pay for the dlc and i'm not down for paying for dlc story-wise it was great. It was, it was a good story. I find voice actors and the animation of the characters spot on. It was unbelievable. It put me into like the realm of the Uncharted series where when I'm watching it, it like blew my mind. Like the graphics were fantastic when I was playing Uncharted 4. And this was along those lines in like, I haven't seen something like that since that. It's gameplay, it was fantastic. Combat is fantastic. The music is it was top notch when you're weaving through the, the buildings and you have that Avengers theme playing in the background. It's, it's awesome. Now, with that being said, this is still not my favorite comic book character game. Batman still takes that reins. Though very good, I still felt that Batman did it better, especially the Arkham City and Arkham Knight. The stealth kills or the stealth takedowns and all that. But when you're comparing it to the Batman series, I felt that it was a, a lot of rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat in this game. It was like, you're going after the thugs. It's the same car chases. It's the same enemies you're going after especially if you're going 100 percent you're just constantly doing the same repetitive stuff over and over again i found batman even though you're doing similar tasks i found that i enjoyed it more i mean because it was the first comic book character game that i played in a long time that did an actual fantastic job if you haven't played this i guarantee you, you're gonna love it if you're a spider-man fan i guarantee you're gonna absolutely love this uh, great game nonetheless next up i found this on the super cheap i think i paid two bucks for it and that's transformers devastation it's a short game it seems like it's missing a lot of content as far as stories driven and i love the animation of it the the cell shaded felt like you're watching a cartoon the whole time again it's just clearing out areas of enemies and moving forward with the story it's a beat-em-up it should be i wouldn't want a transformers game not to be a beat-em-up it felt really good the fact that there's only about six characters you could play as i haven't played any dlc if there is dlc for it so i don't know i wish there was a little bit more characters i wish you could play as some of the decepticons there's not much content in the game still for what i paid i would have not paid full price for this if i've done read any of the reviews a two dollar pickup is a great pickup for what this game was worth next oh, assassin's no. creed i played the first and second i played black flag i haven't played the modern ones origins or anything like that and i'm I, I don't know what about it is about this one but i'm really looking forward to it i know it doesn't really follow chronological order as far as the main characters finding this for like i think it was a dollar i paid it's complete which is fantastic right now i'm playing mass effect 2 which i'm really excited and i'm about maybe about 15 to 20 hours in i'm looking forward to knocking that off the list next is a few dreamcast games and i'm really happy i have 61 left of the dreamcast north american set there are some ranging from the five to ten dollar range and some ranging to the 50 to the 150 dollar range there's not many of the harder to get games left in my collection to get i got that very very early on in my collection so there are a few higher price games i still have to get but not as many as you would think next is test drive 6 it's the need for speed knockoff it's all right i haven't like spent that much time on it it's if feels pretty good the racing does feel pretty good but again i haven't played too much time on it and i'm looking forward to again grabbing some footage and maybe talking about that in the future so this weekend was the berry game exchange and these last five or six games i've gotten from the berry game exchange it was a great show i'll show some footage about that as i'm talking i was able to grab this and looney tune space race from buried on mars i'll probably put up a still of him right there he hooked me up amazingly on these two games. I was really, really happy to add this to the collection. It was unreal. The, you know, I offered something and he came back and rebuttaled and 
said, you know what, take them both for, for this. And I was floored by it because of his generosity. It, it was unreal, it was awesome. Thank you very much, Burrito Mars, for adding this to the collection and giving me such a great hookup on these two games. So while I'm thumbing through my collection app, there's always one that's on the top of the list and it's always under the letter A and it's Armada. It's an action RPG. I haven't played it and I'm looking forward to doing an actual little playthrough with this. This is also on the Dreamcast exclusives list and it's gonna be actually featured in an upcoming video eventually when I get a chance to do it. I'm really, really happy to add this off of the top of that list of that Dreamcast collection app and I'm happy to be able to finally move on from this. Again, at the Beer Game Exchange, it was fantastic. All the vendors were unbelievable and I was floored and I was dumbfounded by the amount of Dreamcast games there. There was five or six tables and I'm saying, by Dreamcast games, not like a stack of four or five. They were almost bins full of Dreamcast games. So as I'm thumbing through and going through these uh, these bins, I'm like, wow, I need this, I need this, I need this. Obviously the wallet speaks louder than what I need. So there was a few games that I had to put back, but I was actually really happy to add this Ooga Booga. I don't know nothing about this. I don't know if this is kind of like a Pen Pen tri a Triathlon or, or what. It seems like a multiplayer game. I'm going to do some research on more of these games. I have almost a complete set, but there are a lot of games I haven't played and seeing that this is a new edition, clearly I haven't played this one at all. These two games, I'm amazed by the condition that they're in. And I'm not saying that, you know, the jewel cases, because jewel cases could be changed at any point in time. I'm not only talking about that, I'm talking about the discs of these games. I'm also talking about the manuals. Usually uh, a Dreamcast game, they're manuals because you tend to slide them in and out a lot. The top of the Dreamcast logo there, it gets faded and gets beaten up. This game looks like it's never been even played, which is unreal. And I guess because the fact is, because the Dreamcast was around for such a short period of time, a lot of stores did still have inventory in their stores and they just liquidated it and people either bought them up and just kept them in storage or whatever. Seeing that game or those games in such pristine condition, being a collector, I like to have my stuff in nice condition no you know disc rot no the cases i swap if there's cracks i'm even the type of person that if a game came i'm using this as an example with the nba logo or mlb logo or nhl logo on it i like to keep it i could swap out the case for this game especially the top it has a crack and it's not clean but because it has that sticker there i want to swap it out for another nba game that has a sticker that i could put back on it it's just i guess ocd speaking and I don't know if anybody else does that, so let me know in the comments down below. This game is gonna go in the collection, but it's probably gonna get there really slowly just because trying to find another NBA game, either a PlayStation game or another Dreamcast game that has that label to swap out is gonna be a little bit tougher than, than you would think. The next two games are eBay buys, and I'm not very proud of that because over the last five years of the 188 games that I've collected, I'm gonna say about 5% are purchases outside of swap meets, in-person deals and GG and Facebook deals or whatever, anything that's you know in-person, face-to-face -face with a vendor or whatever. I've tried to do that where it's more of the thrill of the hunt. I actually resorted to these two games to going on eBay just because I never find them. And you know, if I would've waited an extra week or so, I probably would've came across them at the Barry Game Exchange. I was happy to add them nonetheless. Resident Evil 2 and Record of Lotos this is a very clean edition. I picked this up off a of fellow collector on eBay. We we're going back and forth. He was getting rid of his collection and he had this online. I offered him a best offer. He came back, went back and forth, and then we started messaging through eBay's direct messaging and he showed me a few other games that I might be interested in. So it's kind of an eBay deal, but not necessarily because I got to speak to the collector or the person themselves. So. It, it's it's a give and take type of situation. This one, on the other hand, I bought it from Lukey Games. I don't have access to Lukey Games other than on eBay. So being able to grab Resident Evil 2. I played through this on the PlayStation 1. I haven't played it since then. I know there's remakes on the PlayStation 4 and it's a beloved series of the, of the Resident Evil 2 being probably the top one and maybe four being up there as well. The condition is fantastic and it doesn't come in the PlayStation, you know, dual cases like the PlayStation games usually comes in. It comes in the slender case, 
like a regular single disc game, but it has the dual discs right in there. So like I said, it's a nice little addition. It's clean. I gotta give it a little bit more of a cleaning, but I'm really happy to add this to the collection and getting closer, 61 games to the full set. I'm almost there. I have a few other plans after I'm done the Dreamcast collection. And it took me five years to get to this point right now. So God knows how long it's gonna take me to get further. I do have other videos planned when the collection is done. I might be going after an N64 set. Not saying that that's what this channel is gonna be, but I'm going to be trying and experimenting on a few other videos. So those of you who are Dreamcast advocates, please stick to the channel. I'm going to be continuing Dreamcast content, but the venue or in the avenue is kind of dwindling down. I still have to come up with a lot more ideas and I appreciate you guys coming up along the way. Those of you guys are looking for other content, I will be putting out other content eventually. I'm just working out on finishing a bunch of Dreamcast videos and eventually I'm gonna be doing some other content as well. Well anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know what you guys think of the pickups. I know that this is a little bit longer than normal, but I appreciate you guys sticking by. Thank you guys.